Hello friends and welcome to Young at Heart Worship at East Dallas Christian Church. I'm Pastor Allison and I am so glad that you are joining with me today. Our story this morning is about the boy Jesus in the temple. And this is really the only story we have about young childhood Jesus. We go from his birth and all of that wonder and beauty and it's kind of quiet and we don't hear anything. And then we hear about him as a young boy in the temple, as we'll learn a little bit later, and then it's quiet again until he turns 30. And that's when really most of our stories and information about Jesus come from is that time period of 30 to 33 in Jesus's life. So today we're going to really dig in and enjoy learning about child Jesus and just what he gets up to. We're going to sing a new song for us here in worship today, and it has more verses, but we're just going to sing the first word, first verse, and we'll sing it through a couple of times. It's called, I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Now let's sing our centering song together. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Our scripture for this morning is going to come from Luke chapter 2, starting at verse 44. Thinking Jesus was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among relatives and friends, and when they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem. And they found him in the temple courts, sitting there among the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Did you not know I'd be in my father's house? But they did not yet understand what he was saying to them. So in our story for today, it starts when ah, Mary... Joseph and Jesus are all headed to Jerusalem boop, 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 for Passover. And some of us may remember that Passover is when the Jewish people celebrate way back in their history when they were slaves in Egypt and all of those plagues happened. And at the very end, the Spirit of God passed over all of the Jewish, ho Jewish houses so that their babies didn't die. And so every year they get together and they celebrate that. They remember that great miracle of being freed from slavery in Egypt. So our holy family, they travel to Jerusalem so that they can celebrate with everyone else this great holy day. So they're there, they have special meals, they see friends and family, they do lots of stuff. And then it's time to go home. So they get together with everyone from their town, probably, and they start to head out. Oh, gosh. And Mary and Joseph are going. And who's not going with them? Ah, Jesus is not going with them. And so Mary and Joseph, they get a whole day down the road. They've traveled for a whole day when they're like, I wonder where Jesus is. Where did he go? We're traveling with a lot of our friends and family. We have lots of of camels and donkeys. There's all of us. We're walking. We're talking. All the kids are running around playing together. But we haven't seen Jesus in a while. Let's go check with his aunts and uncles and all of our neighbors and see 
if he's there. So they check and they're asking and they're not finding him. They're getting a little nervous. And finally, they've checked with everyone they're traveling with and Jesus is not there. And I bet they're talking amongst themselves. They go, where is he? What are we going to do? Jesus isn't here. We have to go find him. Let's head back. So Mary and Joseph, they turn around. They head back to Jerusalem. I, I like to think that maybe they stopped and asked other caravans. They say, is our son Jesus walking with you? No, no. Oh, gosh. Huh. Is our son Jesus walking with you? No. Oh, gosh. And they walked and they walked. And eventually they got back to Jerusalem and they go to the temple. And who do they find sitting there? It's Jesus. Jesus is sitting there with the teachers and the chief priests and everyone. And he's asking questions and he's listening and he's talking. And Mary and Joseph are, are amazed. Jesus, what are you doing there? We were so worried. Why didn't you come home with us? And Jesus, he says, well, didn't you know that I would be here in my father's house? And at this time, not everybody knew who Jesus was going to grow up to be or even who he had been born. Our scripture says that Mary and Joseph and everyone around were kind of confused. They didn't really understand what he was saying because his father's house was Joseph's house. So why weren't they going home together? But you and I know and they know deep in their hearts, even if they forgot a little bit, that Jesus is God's son. And so being in the temple, in a place that we worship God, meant that Jesus was home with his dad. And so he, he basically is like, I'm sorry, you know, let's go home. Because it's always really good to listen to your parents. But Jesus was also doing what he was supposed to be doing and learning and teaching and growing in his faith. We know, you and I, that it all turns out good that Jesus gets home. And like I said before, there's a gap where we don't hear a lot about him till he's 30, till he's older. But this story shows us that even from a young age, Jesus was loving God. Jesus was following God. Jesus was learning even more. And not just learning, he was teaching. When we ask questions, we help other people learn deeper to think about different things. So Jesus was sitting there asking questions and listening and talking and sharing so that those gathered in the temple could start to learn even more, even deeper about God, which is really just a wonderful thing to get this little glimpse of just a fraction of Jesus's life when he is a young man. Now that we've listened to our scripture and talked about our story, it's time to wonder together, to share some deeper thoughts or some things we've never thought about with this new story. So remember, at each slide, you can pause so you can think to yourself or share with those around you some new things that you've thought about this boy Jesus story. Let's now move into our time of prayer, remembering that God wants to hear from us. God wants to know what's going on in our lives. Yes, God already knows. God is with us, around us, traveling through each day with us. But God loves to talk to us. God loves to hear from us, to know what is happy and what is sad. So pause at each slide and think to yourself or share with those around you the highs and the lows, the roses and thorns from your last week. Thank you so much for joining me for worship today so that we could learn about the boy Jesus. I know some of you who watch and worship with me are children yourself. And so how exciting is it to hear about this child Jesus and what he is up to and what he does, that he goes to school 
just like you do and talks to teachers and asks questions and has deep thoughts, knows things that other people don't know, which is really wonderful. So as we leave worship together and go out into our normal lives, doing our things, I really encourage you to remember this story and to remember that even though Jesus is part of God, Jesus asked questions and Jesus was still learning. And so that should encourage us too, to keep learning and keep asking questions because we know that there's no dumb questions, friends. It's only when we don't ask them that we ourselves don't get smarter. So ask questions, not just about God and Jesus in our Bible, but about this wonderful world that has been created. Let us join together in prayer. Awesome God, thank you for this story about Jesus. Help us to remember to keep learning. In your name we pray. Amen.